What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Demolicious. My name is Sean. This is the final episode of 2022. Uh, I might be the final episode of this show for a little bit, just a little bit. Might change up some, uh, might change up some things. Wear my dynamite Tiggers jersey that uh, we've got me for something. I don't know. When you've been together for a really long time, everything, all the gifts you get, kind of just blur together. You're like, ah, somebody got something for someone at some point. It's all good. Today, we are going to play another Xbox demo disc. This one is a little bit short on the gameplay side. Uh, it's actually just kind of a small disc in general. Um, since I started playing one of the, the discs probably four or five episodes ago with like number 14 or whatever it was, I've just kind of been playing them in order. So we have the very next disc from last week's episode, and that is demo disc number 21, which features Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter, which we saw a trailer for last time as our cover athlete um we have features on enter the matrix halo 2 we got another top 10 plays we have uh alter echo which sponsored this disc so there's two things on that a little bit of uh midtown madness some wolfenstein and then obviously our gameplay right here and a couple more demos if you would like to see more gameplay produced by me you can be sure to scroll down subscribe ring that bell you'll be notified when i post new videos look around the channel for demo licious videos there are 46 other videos though they are not numbered correctly or labeled correctly i do need to go in and fix that we'll see if that ever happens i would like to though because i personally like when everything is synchronous <laughs> so um maybe I'll, I'll get around to that one day i also need to make a demolicious playlist either way uh this will be uh final episode of 2022 it'll be the final episode of this xbox batch and we'll probably put this show on a break for a little bit um but i'll talk more about that a little bit later or maybe even in a, a different video um as like a year wrap up slash like uh content changes kind of future ideas and plans for 2023 a separate video sometime in the next week or so either way we're going to jump into this disc right here and gonna have, we're going to have one last good time in xbox world i gotta do this dumb thing because the console's right next to my feet i gotta make sure that it doesn't open up into a chair which it did not success number one turn that on Click that on, move this here, and we're good. Adjust your seats, get comfortable, folks. We're hanging out for however long it takes to play this demo disc, which I don't think is very long. I just I leave my headset on. Is it dead again? Ooh, big old loading bar. Loading. Oh no! Don't don't freeze right out of the gate. Oh, okay. Hold on. Can we skip? Can we skip? Uh, oh God. Well, oh. Alter space. Alter time. Alter echo. Alter echo. THQ. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Whew. Speed of light was constant. I forgot. I did everything else except for adjust the volume. E equals MC squared. All right. Let's do. We'll go into the video showcase real quick. Alter Echo. Video showcase. Armed. And. And dangerous. BA all. You are does e equal eight anything I wanted to dark two. This game is not yet rated. Game is not yet rated. Midtown Madness three. THQ. Return to Kaffa Wolf assign. C A C A S T L E. Oh shit! True crime. Streets of L A. Let's go, baby. All right. Up to the features. Alter Echo featurette. Let's 
Into the Matrix. Halo 2. Midtown Madness. Who a mockumentary? M O C K U M E N T A R Y. All right. Top 10. You know what? I'll tell you right now. Top 10 probably going to be the last thing that we take a look at. Playable demos. Ghost Recon. What is this? Island. Mace Griffin. Soldier of Fortune 2. Ooh, you can tell it's an important one because it's a Roman numerals. Okay. First one is Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Before I get too far, I'm going to make sure I select all. Copy that. Pull up the notepad. Paste it there. Then we go to the video show. Oh, we just the trailer literally just played on this side. That's okay. We're watching it again. Full screen, everybody. Whoa. A talking lizard, man. Black Isle Studios. Oh shit! And a threat to us and our plans has been ended. Can you do you want to talk a little bit louder? Speak up, please. No one can hear you. In this video game, no one can hear you talk because they whispered. Far from Baldur's Gate. Far from the Sunset Mountains. What? The Sunset Mountains? That sounds like a romantic place. It's where all the orcs like to fuck. From safety. Oh shit! Safety. Ooh, look at all those armor sets. <laughs> what is it? The weird fades and swings and everything about this is weird. Okay, that's it. Okay, all right. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 is going to improve the gameplay and expand it in ways that are unimaginable to today's gaming audience. And you can play it soon. Dino Crisis 3. What's this thing? Are these like random things that aren't on the disc? Reroll it, Halo 2. Features. Halo 2, if you liked Halo 2, here's some artwork. The following is a production of official Xbox Magazine game disc, okay? Oh, oh, <laughs> there it is. Woo, that music. <laughs> I appreciate that they put effort into this this art video but it also is just like fades and zooms and wipes okay that was <laughs> oh nope never mind okay I really thought that was the end this is the post credit scene right here cool did they really have to do artwork for a vehicle that was already in the game? Let me do some mock-ups on the Warthog, and they're like, we already have the Warthog. It's like, well, I spent 60 hours on these, so I'll, I'll bill them to your company. Oh, shit, what is that? Okay, that's okay. Huh. That is interesting. I don't know that that's in any of the other games. God, I love Halo so freaking much. I love Halo so much. I think Halo 2 might be the best campaign of the group. Oh, that's kind of a nifty little trick there. Okay. I love the way that it looks like it's on green screen, even though it's not. Oh, there it is, that cover art. Oh, though so many people had the limited edition with the steel book that I don't know that, like, I was, I actually have trouble thinking of what the Halo 2 cover art is. Activision. All right, Halo 2, you're out. Alter Echo. 
Go into the video showcase. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot that was under Activision. It was a. I played a really good Wolfenstein game on 360. The speed of light was constant. Speed of light is constant. by those rules. Oh shit! Neither does the enemy. Oh shit! I'm a rule breaker, just like the enemy. What in the fuck is this game? Just in case you forget what we're watching, Alter Echo. Damn it, wrong side. Alter Echo. That's what we're. That's what we're. Alter time. Slice him right in the spine. What does E equal? D's nuts. Anything I wanted to. Oh, okay. <laughs> this game is not yet rated. Also, for some reason, like, the last part of that trailer was, like, shoved toward the top right corner for some reason. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I'll take that out. And now we will rerun it. Armed and Dangerous. Okay, we are just running through all of the all the videos right now. Rating pending. Oh, that's right. Oh, I thought my computer froze. Whew, I got so worried right there. That's me playing Halo. Just like the easiest shot in the world and just 45 bullets that don't go into anything. We're gonna warm him up or he'll die. No problem. Here's a little trick I learned back in Kalios. Good idea, mate. What? I've seen this done before. Oh, God. Oh, no. And stick Rexus amongst the warm entrails. No, that's not necessary. Just stick it in there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we've, I think we've seen this trailer before. I forgot what this game was. Q111. He's the comic relief. Oh, they're wanted. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know what? I played this demo. In trouble here. Damn it. That smells. Those bullets are hitting me. Damn it. Did you see that? <laughs> what was that said? Oh my god, a thrilling eight frames a second. Oh my god. Oh mother freaka! So, there you have it. Armed and dangerous. <laughs> there was like no mouth movement at all, but they still like put the the sound effect in there. Its surface is covered with this organic stuff. All right, Ghost Recon. The people here called Shapers can use their We're finally playing Shapers with massive skills can change their own form. We're playing a video game. Whew. I don't know why it's not it hasn't even been that long. How long has it been? Oh not that long. Not that long at all. No problem. We had a Ghost Recon game on the channel not too long ago. Or demo, I should say. I probably have the case for it right here. Ba -da -dum, da -da -dum. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit, look at that sweet jump. I just, I thought like, if one of their knives like fell out and like punctured the boat, 
<laughs> Sorry. Tom, not again. I'm tired of this. Island Thunder. Oh man, that was just the trailer. Are you ready for intense action? Oh, multiplayer. Saved quick missions. Okay. Difficulty, recruit. I would at least go veteran. As you know, gentlemen, we're here to help safeguard the first democratic elections Cuba's seen since before Batista took control. Since Castro's death in 2006, the Cuban people have had a succession of increasingly incompetent thugs in charge. Wait, hold on. Are they calling Castro's death? To change. Hold the on. Are they, going to are they putting a bet on the board? Castro's going to sure die in 2006. What that means is that we've been volunteering to make fuck? sure the elements who want to bring back the bad old days don't get a chance to win the elections at gunpoint. Your first assignment is a basic contraband seizure. One of our patrol helicopters spotted a light cargo plane dropping a few suspicious looking crates over an abandoned tobacco plantation. The chopper crew was able to drive off the men who were moving the crates once they landed, but they need ground support to do the job properly. Seeing as the troops trying to haul those crates off look a lot like the guerrillas who've been reported bullying voters in a few of the western cities, we're not taking any chances. Your orders are simple. You'll be inserted by helicopter on the plantation grounds. Once you're in route, the patrol chopper will peel off and leave the ground troops to you. Take control of the old plantation buildings first, as that's what the guerrillas are using for cover. Then, secure those packages by clearing out the troops around them. They'll probably make an effort to retrieve them once the helicopter leaves, so things will be happening in a hurry. Okay. Oops. Pr return. Proceed. Here we go. Oh. Auto assign. That's fine. Go. So wait, hold on. Is this... March 20th, 2010? Is that what we're doing? We're seven years in the future and 12 years in the past? <laughs> They're calling Castro's death over here? Okay, here we go. This is for democracy. You fucking better love this democratic election. But I don't really know if you can call it democratic election if we're interfering with it, but... Hey! 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 We're just trying to give you what you want. Democracy. Oh god. Another takedown. Oh. Got him. Jesus. <laughs> Another kill. I don't know that I'm doing anything. I'm I'm kind of just here. Okay, you Another know what? Kill. Where are we going? Hold on. Oh. I don't know what's happening. Threat removed. Where is my... Oh, there's the map. I don't know how I did that. Oh, okay. Okay, so we need to go... Planning? What do you mean both teams? How is this the worst map of all time? How do you use this? Oh, there it is. Yeah, do that. Eight people answered that at once? I don't know. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Now, now we're going the right way, I think. Right? Okay. His map is actually not very big. Oh. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the way! Guy goddamn died because of you! You fucking asshole! How do I... Oh, I died again. What in the shit is happening? Oh. I don't know what that means. 
All right, hold on. Where am I? I'm scared. How do I get up? Oh, no! I did it again! I shot my own teammate! I got scared! Oh, fuck. What do you mean, goodbye? <laughs> how do I, how do you get up? Okay, here we go. You just find another character that's standing. Okay, there we go. We, we solved the problem. Who is, who is shooting? From where? Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, great. Now I'm stuck with a guy on the ground. No, don't reload. It's not left stick. Nope, it's not right stick. It's not click R. It's not that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're stuck on the ground. Oh, it's up on the D-pad. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I just figured out how to get up. <laughs> I think, uh, so I played two Ghost Recon demos. Uh, and I think both of them, both of them, I have, uh, I, there have been, there's been some friendly fire. There has been some scared friendly fire. Oh my God. All right. Well, that mission didn't go very well. Reroll it. I'm Alter still. Echo Futurette. I say Futurette. I meant Featurette. Oh, okay. Alter Echo is an innovative new game from THQ. Is that it? truly redefines the action genre. Oh, it redefines the action the genre. Must fight for survival How's THQ the doing these days? Whose very surface Dead in the water? Alive. With non-stop action and a groundbreaking visual style, Alter Echo stands apart from other action titles, allowing the player to morph between three unique combat modes and manipulate oh. time with a pioneering gameplay feature called Time Dilation. <laughs> to ensure that Alter time Echo dilation. is an unparalleled experience, the developers at THQ <laughs> Studio Outrage Games Oh shit, look at that filter. Stunning Somebody found the filters. Highly adaptive gameplay features and cutting edge techniques. Technology. The design team started by creating a completely original world, an organic sci-fi fantasy world that would act as a character within the game, providing challenges. Why is this balance so heavily to the right speaker, turn. by the way? It was a very, very um, conscious decision to not make a game set in reality so that we had to play by those rules. We wanted to kind of just flex <laughs> I'm our sure video games are set in reality, play by the reality rules the, all the, the time. The level is essentially a character to the player and Alter Echo. So, as an experience... Oh, look at that! Non-stop action! Around. Jump! You're fighting enemies and things like that, but you're also fighting the world itself, which is very cool. Now, creating that <laughs> is a complicated endeavor because when we animate... Wait, the just... Animate, wait, what? Like the character head. It has to have all the same kind of uh, skeletal underpinnings. It's got the same kind of movements. It's just as complicated. Just having it be organic <laughs> takes it to another level and is it's a very challenging thing. With a visually distinct playground in place, the next challenge was to bring as much originality and imagination to the tactical combat in Alter Echo. Using an advanced real-time skeletal morphing system, the team gave their main character Nevin the ability to morph between melee, gun, and stealth forms during combat. Oh yeah, that's the stealth form? Morphing, which allows a player to change on the fly between different characters, essentially, is essentially. No one has really pulled off the ability to interpolate matches before in a real-time context, and it allows for just an unbelievably wide variety of gameplay moves. Inspired by action sports games, Alter Echo brings an innovative combo okay. system to the. Was not expecting that comparison. Genre, allowing the player to chain moves and combine forms into explosive special attacks. The combo system. They didn't quite get the the camera set up correctly. To kind of customize the way they approached an individual. Ideal. Oh my God! Situation. Look, he's got the double bow necklace. Uh, Nevin's actually getting stronger, so a player who's doing it correctly 
will actually have a strategic advantage over a player who's just trying to hack and slash through the level. Yeah, do it correctly. The game fucking play forehead. icing on the cake came in the form of time dilation technology, a rhythm based mode which allows players to freeze time. Time dilation is this, um, this kind of really. Man, this strange, is 2003, huh? Mini game in Alter Echo. Nevin has the ability to control time with his Echoplast suit to a limited degree. So he can freeze freeze time, and then through this minigame, you can queue up all sorts of different attacks on the enemies that are around you. And then you see this great, um, this great playback of all these, these awesome moves that you get to see executed with time frozen. THQ's Alter Echo launches players into a bizarre and relentless world of action, offering the player the ultimate in flexibility and intensity. Alter space. Alter time. Alter echo. <laughs> the audio mixing on that was so weird. <laughs> it's like in the left ear, then the right ear. All right. Okay. All right, we've done that. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I don't understand what this is. Those trailers aren't in the game or on the disc. Activision id software now they're both owned by Microsoft now we can get the Activision id shooter We've that we never the got existence of Castle Wolfenstein for some time Recently wow. heard reports from our Kreisau circle High praise. in the German resistance regarding bizarre occult rituals taking place there. Whoa! Oh man, Maxa Magazine given five out of five? Well, that's why we sent our boys in there. Is that real footage in there? Did they... <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? What is this game? Oh shit, are they bringing back Mecha Hitler? Oh shit, co-op mode, cool. Oh, I forgot that that would have to be a split screen situation. Never mind, that sounds awful. Oh, wait, hold on. If you're not, do you have to play as the Nazis in that? Oh shit. You my dark master. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Rated M for mature. I will say, pretty good trailer. Pretty I would buy that video game. I would buy it. Maybe not the highest praise in the world because I buy a lot of dumb shit, but Alright. What are we getting next? Midtown Madness. Three. Oh, okay. Midtown Madness three. Never mind. There's two Midtown Madness threes. <laughs> oh shit! A mini Cooper. Everything in this game is so zoomed in. Dice. The license plate just says dice. 
Oh shit, the White House? Whoa, look out! Why did that run so poorly? Oh my god! This trailer is giving me motion. This is awful! Oh my god. Ooh, only on Xbox. Bring back those Xbox exclusives, you know? You know what I'm saying? Bring them back. We miss them. That was, uh, that was an awful trailer. We went from, like, a game that I would play to just to that. Alright, next up we got Soldier of Fortune 2. Said if you enjoy this demo, something about Xbox Live. Do I have to pull out a second disc? Actually, a lot of the I think a lot of the PS1 discs were pretty short. So, hey, I don't I don't I'm not curating the content on these discs. Oh, Raven Software. Remember when they made the best Wolverine game ever? Wow, they shot me. What's that logo treatment? What the fuck? Someone was like, you know what I really like? The leg lamp. Oh, this is prog, by the way. I thought that said prologue. Just says prog. Somebody loves the leg lamp in a Christmas story. And they're like, what if that was the logo for our studio? And no one slowed them down. Completely smash out a pane of glass. Oh, man. Enemies with shotguns are dangerous. Oh, okay. Try to take them out first. You got it. Don't you worry. I'm all over it. I'm going to win this demo. Okay. Objectives updated. Actually, this, this feels pretty all right. How do you interact? Oh. I just open a door into a room that has nothing to offer. What was it? Why? I don't know why I'm asking you. Know, I didn't. Uh oh. Hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, it's a good thing I went back around that corner. My goodness. All right. Okay. Picked up. Okay, so we have a little bit of like kind of that old school first person design. Uh, you can see a shield and a, a health bar. Not really a common occurrence. And in... oh shit, where'd they go? You also have maybe the, like the most annoying aspect of it, which is um, there's like a subtle. Oh god. No! Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me re- Wait, are you dead? Oh shit. That's kind of cool. Oh, can I, can I, is there a statue? Any of these move, like a sweet door situation? Oh, there's a health on the table. Wait, what? Hello? Housekeeping? Is there anybody down there? Kobe! <laughs> I love the, the clanking noise. I don't know how well it plays on the audio and the video, but it's like clank, clank, clank. Oh, here we go. Ow! You survive a grenade. Just to double check, double tap. If I learned anything from Zombie Land, it's that you shouldn't make a sequel that long after the original. Also, people really love like the dumb characters in movies. Okay. 
Can't carry any more of this ammo type. Oh, look at it. It's like it bobs around a little bit. And it's just the worst. It's a dramatic death and Dramatic death animation. You gotta get their Screen Actors Guild card. We in the hotel... Whatever it's called? There's, I can't see a goddamn thing. Is there a flashlight button? Okay. Crouch. Jump. Reload. Interact. Okay. Butt of the gun. Lean. No, I don't want that. Yes, I'd like a knife. Please. There's no, like... There's no flashlight or anything. Nothing, nothing to help me see. Oh, good. Now I'm stuck in here. I picked up a small health kit. I, I, there's, I had to look at the sound thing to even see if that was making noise. Help. I'm stuck. All right. Oh. Boo. <laughs> They did like a sweet action dive. Hold on. Nope, that was just, that was a coffee pot. Fuck, now I can't make that fresh decaf I need. Okay, that one's locked. I, how did I miss that? Hold on. Hold on. Am I making progress? Hold on. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Not okay. Whoa! Sweet action, man! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> In fact, he blasted that door open. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Alright. Thank God there's footsteps so I can hear everything. Double checking. Whoa, fuck, no! Are you serious? Hold on. Whoa! Whoop, whoop. There's not a not an enemy in the shitter. Oh, you can't break the toilet? No, no, you can't. Oh, you kind of can. Now that just kind of looks like a fat dick and balls. Quality game design. That's what we want to see here in 2003. Okay. What we'd also like to see is may maybe a flashlight. Halo 1 had a flashlight.
Oh, you say locked? Wait. Oh. nothing going on in here what the fuck why did i need to unlock that door so wait can you do that for like all locked doors oh just the ones that have the locked thing hello How far, how far back are they going to put me? I somehow made it through that maze and then I shot the man I needed to get. Fuck. Where am I? Am I in the first room? I sure am. Well, I hope you enjoyed Soldier of Fortune too. I did not do that intentionally. Hold on. Okay. We're still in that era for some reason where the left stick, the left thumbstick is not a usable like selector of things in video games. 54 single player levels, 25 real world weapons, 20 multiplayer levels, 6 game types, 5 additional something. Alright. Well, that was a uh... Not terrible, actually. Congratulations. All right, we're going Midtown Madness Mockumentary. Midtown Madness 3, the third installment in the legendary Madcap Racing series. Legendary, huh? Vehicles detailed cities and diving pedestrians but one man stands <laughs> above all others in the secret art of motion capture join us now behind the scenes all right everybody we're back in back to one pictures up and settle all right everyone it's a beautiful day in paris the sun is out the eiffel tower is shining we're all just walking through our day not expecting anything to happen even the france all the rest of it let's let's do it Roll camera. Camera speed. Paris diver pedestrian, take 32. Marker. <laughs> take 32. Your background. Q vehicle. And action. Oh. Cut, cut, cut. What's the problem? What? Who is what? that guy? Brian the Grip. Who? Well, he's been here all week. He's been wearing the same shirt. I don't recognize him. Look, <laughs> it's happening. I don't know what my motivation is for this scene. What your motivation is there's a car coming through you and you're trying to dive out of the way. Yeah, but I don't see the car. There is no car yet for me, okay? What? The, you know, I don't he's see got the bumper. That's not a car. That's a guy with lights on his hat. We can't get a whole car in here. That what would be wonderful. Got? Couldn't you? No, we can't. Really I incredible. can't dive until I see a car! Mike, come back here. What? <laughs> what? People think that being a motion capture artist is easy. Anyone can dive. Oh, sure, just dive? No. You've got to see the car coming at you. Driving toward you. Two tons of raw steel. And you see it. And at the last moment, bam, you're out of the way. That's motion capture. Michael White is, uh, he's, an he's an artist, uh, a genius, really. Does he create problems on the set? Yes. Is he, is he difficult to work with? Yes. Is he difficult to direct? Yes. Is he difficult on the crew? Yes. And why you film? question why I'm in this business? Yes. See, I know uh, uh, about talent. Did you see him in uh, Project Gotham Racer as a driver? It was emotional, man. You got to keep tissues there and one hand driving and one trying to wipe a tear. He's like <laughs> you know, a, a Bobby De Niro or a, a, a KS, Kevin Spacey, when it comes to. Oh, boy, we don't want to be Kevin Spacey. Oh, shout out to the new Seahawks stadium. Dedicated to his craft, who really 
observes the subtle nuances of life. Uh, they filmed this out in Seattle. He spends massive amounts of time out on location, out doing research, watching people uh, move. That's what he likes to do. Was uh, the shot oh, we lost the ball for Steve Spielberg when he made Jaws? Yeah, it was. But look at the results. I got into this business because of my father, Mo White. He was a pioneer. He did Space Invaders, Pong, Donkey Kong, everything. It was from his first name, Mo, that the term mocap came about <laughs> as a tribute to his early work. Ever since even his daddy, his daddy, you know, he had it too, like in Pitfall, when he got ready to go drop down at the- We're getting a little heavy-handed with the, uh, certain the references. You can see his full body extension down there. Now it took them, from what I understand, three or four days or they got that right. In the old days, it would take three people to do what Michael's doing. You needed someone to walk, you needed someone to run, and you needed someone to dive out of the way of the car. Uh, three separate people. Michael was the first person to really integrate those three things into one. You know, you, you take that uh, NBA Inside Drive 2003, and I mean, he's got moves in there that's ne that they've never seen before in basketball. Well, he's an innovator. <laughs> he's innovating it. And he's innovating that ball oh, and shit. his body and in integral, integrally uh, uh, putting his cell with the ball. And, and it's just like it's all a part of it. It's like even though that ball <laughs> leaves his hand momentarily, it's still hooked to him energetically. People take oh, shit. They would still have the Sonics uh, at that time. So effortless. And that's the, before that's the NBA stole could them. See it if it were an ordinary person, if, if we could split the screen and show uh, Michael jumping out of the way of the car and you took somebody like, uh, like my grandmother and you had her uh, jump out of the way of the car, you would see the difference, you know? And my grandmother at 85 is very athletic. Sometimes I think that uh, Truffaut possesses me because I speak with a French accent in the shower. All right, everybody, places, we're back. All right, everybody, today's the day. We're gonna get this done. I want you to close your eyes, all right? Close your eyes, trust me. Imagine you're a French artist. You decide to walk, listen to your muse. You walk past a boulangerie. You take in the you say lingerie? Suddenly you're Hold on, we're talking about lingerie? That you're going to cross the street and roll everything. Oh la la. And action. <laughs> it, took, it took the 48 days to shoot this? <laughs> this is honestly incredible. for mocap but they should I've been practicing my speech but until then I'm just gonna keep doing what I do what I can do because I going on a scooter games. I love games. <laughs> The whole credit sequence too. <laughs> oh man, I want to be the clapper. Oh, <laughs> Phil Spencer. Filmed on location in and around Seattle, Washington. Hell yeah. All post credit scene? Aw. Oh, almost. That was that was fantastic. I was a huge fan of that. I 
All right, into the Matrix. You're up next. <laughs> the technology. <laughs> It's a completely new way of of experiencing the video video game concept as well as incorporating it into the experience of the movie. Damn, not who I was hoping for. <laughs> Awesome. They had this very unique idea about the video game that they wanted to make the video game directly related to the movie. <laughs> Be sure to stand there and get kicked in the face. It's cut by the boys. So they're actually directly involved in the making of the video game, which was their idea from the beginning, which has never been done before. This is Thaddeus, Captain of the Osiris. We're going to attempt an emergency broadcast drop in the Matrix. Oh, in the Matrix? Sparks, I want the ship's guns online right now. Command. First mention of the video game was that it was like a third movie. And it had this whole amazing, intricate story weaved into the stories in the movies. Operator. Get me out of here, Sparks. I've got agents right behind me. Oh, I can't watch this. You've basically taken Reloaded and expanded it out into two parallel stories, not just the film, not just the game. They're actually fully connected in every way. Uh-oh, heads up, guys. Incoming. Damn, the Matrix is so fucking cool. Oh, shit. a story to tell that they didn't really have time for in a two-hour movie where they would have told it if they had a three-hour movie. And um, we get to do it in the video game. Get to your exits. Wait, how long does it take to beat Enter the Matrix? I was like, how are they going to shoot all of this? They're going to shoot two, three, and this video game script. Everybody has been able to work together to make the most incredible game you've ever played. Seven and a half hours. That the same, you know, incredible kind of resources that are used on a film set were used for this video game footage. That meant that all the same equipment was used, the same film stock, that the same actors, all the same, <laughs> the same film stock. There were hundreds of people on this set, and they're working on a video game. A video game, a piece of fucking a children's plaything. Wu Ping and his crew were working on all the fight choreography of the movie. We're also doing all the fight choreography of the game. We used Master Wu Ping and his team to take fight moves to another degree. It gives such a, an enormous variation to the player. The fight moves we have are so much further beyond your standard kicks and punches that you've seen in a game. They're just sort of mind-blowing moves that Master Wu would choreograph for us. When you're playing this video game, you're actually going to be playing his stunt actors just delivering fantastic three-dimensional fighting moves. Where's our stunt guy from the last we video? We could have faked it with some, some um, stunt people in Hollywood, but it just wouldn't have been the same. In this game, what happened? Why are there four screens at once? End, so Let me enjoy it. Up being oh, that was cool. Different almost every single time. Each character has hundreds more moves than the average fight game. Five, six hundred moves per character. On top of it all, the camera moves were directed by Larry Nandy, so that a cool action moment takes on that flair that it would in a film. In a video game, usually they'll just take the camera here and it'll attach to the guy's head and it'll follow him perfectly as he moves, which isn't cinematic. Because they wanted to make this more film-like, we had Larry and Andy actually directing the cameras that are in the gameplay, you know, where they exist as characters walk around in the game. There's visual effects in the game. Um, unique visual effects. Uh, the visual effects we're doing for the game. Oh my god, entry, that freeway uh, chase fucking the rules. The same level of quality, the same resolution. Who's the guy the in the back? In the <laughs> it's good to be home. We're going to see versions of shots. Relegated to the, the fucking. Sort of could you sit up from, a little bit uh, first, the further so we could get you in Obi's focus? We don't have million dollar visual effects shots in games normally. 
Ghosts create distraction. Movie license games, if they're lucky, the character looks like the actor who was in the film, but usually they don't even get the rights to use that likeness. You don't get an engaging performance, and that's something that's entirely new here. Real actors giving real performances, real stories. This mission is suddenly looking very... Listen, I'm gonna take the lead along that path to draw them out. You nail them as soon as they show themselves. <laughs> it's gonna raise the bar for what people understand to be a fight game in the same way that uh, the Matrix film raised the bar in terms of what people saw as a fight sequence. You do not truly know someone until you fight them. <laughs> David Perry, who was their personal choice for designing the game, wanted to make a game that no one has ever seen. Movie games are generally not as, as well received because the game isn't quite the experience of the movie. I mean, there's a lot of reasons that they aren't. It's because they rushed to market. Themselves on not doing sequels it's not, not good. Doing games. Um, when I saw what they did inside their script and the story just goes off, the rabbit hole effectively just starts going deeper, then I, then I really bit. So we threw all our sort of corporate philosophy out the window and went after this just because it's, and it's different than a license. Our corporate you know? philosophy? What does that mean? We've made a game that has exploration, it has shooting, it has fighting, flying, driving, hacking. And on top of that, sounds like you're biting off a lot more than you can chew there. Interspersed within the game <laughs> that developer. you can't see anywhere else. I need to talk to Morpheus. Believe me, Niobe, he needs you. Where is he? Just follow the sirens. Let's go. What's Larry that mean? and Andy actually decided which pieces are going to be dramatic and which pieces are going to be gameplay sections from a perspective of a gamer. They're doing it because they personally would love to sit down and play those sections of the game. Oh shit, you get to do the freeway chase? Destroy them. Why is, what the hell? It. I mean, you gotta see it. <laughs> When you grab hold of those controls and when you, you start punching those buttons, I mean, you'll see you can do things you've never done before. Are you shoot a cop a in the ass? Revealed in no, our game that this is the only place you're going to find it out. There's also some glimpses of movie three, which I think you'll find interesting. The brothers made it clear that they viewed the game as not just a merchandising deal like you would do making a Matrix lunchbox, but they really thought of it as what's <laughs> going to be the most fun for the gamer and what's going to be a really are there, fun Are there game Matrix play. lunchboxes? Man, reality can be a bitch. Tell me about it. That is hot. If we I fully knew what was going to happen. Yep. So are you red or blue on this? All right, that was a uh, that was pretty cool. Actually, both of those featurettes were good. All right, we have my headset up way too loud here. We have Mace Griffin, <clears throat> Bounty Hunter, Vivendi Universal Games. Black Label Games. The Arkansas Razorbacks. Good to know. Okay. Play game. Trouble at the temple. All right. That's supposed to look like a Star Trek intro. To skip cutscenes, press Y. Why would I want to skip a cutscene? I want to get involved in the lore. Oh God, oh God, it's inverted. It's inverted. Oh no. I, oh god. Oh god. This is your demo? Oh god. Oh god. I fucking, I died already? 
Are you serious? This is your demo? Oh my god, flying games are the worst. Why do people think they're good? It's like the worst... It's like the worst section of Halo 4. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that an enemy? Whoops. Oh, hold on. I don't know what's happening. This is like the single worst. This demo is terrible. I, where is anything? Oh, there's a little radar in the middle. I don't know what's happening. I hate this. This is awful. Nope. Hold on. Fly away. Fly away. Everybody go. I don't think it would even help if it was not inverted. It's just bad. I can't see anything. Die infidel. Oh, I want to vomit. Oh, this is awful. This is so bad. Flying games fucking suck. God damn it. You know what? Can, you, can someone just kill me, please? How did I die so quickly last time? This time I'm hanging in there, but... Stop. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Stop. It's the worst fucking game in the world. Hold on. Flatten out a little bit. There we go. Wait, hold on. Did I hit something? Am I flying? I think I got somebody on accident. Oh my god. I... The cockpit view is terrible. I mean, it, honestly, the inversion might help if I if I could turn it off of invert, but I kind of also don't think so. Die, what do you mean, die infidel? Stop! Son of a bit. Okay, well that's that's it for that. The most miserable fucking demo you could ask for. Oh, seamless. Oh, good. Space combat and first person land combat. Where the hell was that part? Scripted sequences and in-game cutscenes. Henry Rollins as the voice? Oh, of Mace. We had two terrible demos. There were three demos on this game disc. And two of them were awful. The best one was Soldier of Fortune 2. And I screwed that one up. Alright, here we go. Final piece of this is, that's right, the top ten plays. Oh, Mace Griffin, Bounty Hunter, boo! Oh shit, Group Best Challenge, oh! That's a nice drift. Wait, why do we have so many Mace Griffin Bounty Hunters? What the hell was that? Oh shit. That was, uh, that was a pretty good play. Oh hell yeah, Burnout too. Let's go! That burnout, bring back burnout, please!
So both of the number one plays were like kind of jokes. That second one, play number two in that world racing, that looks like the kind of stunt you would try to pull in uh, Rush 2 on the stunt course. Just try to get a car that can like, that can roll and get enough velocity, like to get enough spin on it to just have it like roll and roll and roll. All right, that'll do it for uh, Demolicious for a little while. I'm going to, uh, we're going to move it over to something else. It's going to be just be regular gameplay stuff, but uh, making some, uh, some small tweaks and some small changes with uh, some of the content going into 2023. Hopefully you enjoyed it. There are 46 other episodes. If you'd like to watch more of this, uh, of this series done a bunch on Xbox, there's been PlayStation two. We've had PlayStation one, um, I think that covers all of them. We've only had one set of PS2 and one set of PS1, so it's pretty heavily Xbox slanted. I do think in the future when I bring this back, it'll be for a limited run of them, and we'll probably move up to 360 because I do have a good chunk of 360 discs. The issue with the 360 discs is that, the, is that they have what they call OXM points on the disc, so you have to have certain amounts of OXM points to unlock certain things. So I got to take a peek and see how that would work. And some of the earlier 360 discs have original Xbox demos, but I didn't have the 360 out. It's a whole, uh, a whole rigmarole. So, um, this is the end of, uh, this run of, uh, of demo licious. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, there's been 47 episodes of it over the last, I don't know, year and a half, maybe, maybe a little longer, but hopefully, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you sometime in the future. Um, stay tuned for more, uh, more gameplay tomorrow. We have NFL Wednesday. We have question mark Thursday, question mark Friday, a taste test for my birthday, Saturday, question mark Sunday, question mark. <laughs> I did not realize how little I had sorted out. Um, I have a couple of things that I'm, I gotta get through and then the schedule gets set, but, um, yes. Hopefully you enjoyed. I do appreciate you watching and we will see you in a future installment of Demolicious sometime later on in 2023 or maybe another gameplay video um, on, a, on a different day, 6 a.m. Pacific time every single day. Scroll down, subscribe, ring the bell for uh, for more content. And thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you. We'll see you later. Goodbye. Castle Wolfenstein for some time. We've only recently heard reports from our Kreisau Circle contacts in the German resistance regarding bizarre occult rituals taking place there.